Hey everyone, welcome to Up All Night DIY. I'm Monica, thanks for joining me. Today I'm participating in the Crafting for a Cause Challenge, hosted by Teresa of Teresa B DIY and co-hosted by Corey of Crafted by Corey. This month, our charity is Morgan's Light. This charity hits close to home as Morgan McCaffrey was from my area. Last year, she was murdered by her ex-boyfriend shortly after graduating from high school. Morgan's Light is a foundation started by Morgan's mom to educate and assist teens in toxic relationships. Please click the link in the description box for more information on this very important matter. Okay, let's get into it. I'm making a rustic Thanksgiving candle box. It's a quick and simple project. I had a 16 by seven and a half plank of wood. I cut it into two pieces and I cut the 11 inch piece to look like a pumpkin by basically slightly rounding the edges and notching a small stem. I also cut a small notch at the bottom to accommodate the wire of my electric candle. The five inch piece will be my base. I've drawn a line where my pumpkin will sit on the base. This leaves enough space in the front for the candle and in the back for my brackets. See, it'll sit just like this. I've also cut a square dale into three pieces to frame out a little box on the front of the stand. I'm using wood glue and some hot glue to add those pieces to my base. I'm just lining it up flush with the edge. With Joe Sonia Retarder Medium and Mint Teal Acrylic Paint, I'll mix the stain up right here on my plate. I'll coat my pumpkin with the stain and wipe it down with the paper towel. I did three coats until I achieved the depth that I was looking for, and I did the sides too. I decided to add some screws to the frame on the base, mostly for aesthetics, so I'm drilling pilot holes where my screws will go. I will tell you that I should have used a larger bit because my screws are splitting the dail, but since it's a rustic piece, I just went with it. Then I gave the base one coat of the mint teal stain. I cut the word Thanksgiving with my silhouette and I'm applying it vertically to my pumpkin. I've also cut this cute Thanksgiving saying that I've applied next to my vertical Thanksgiving. To keep the letters crisp, I'll use cosmetic sponge to apply Mod Podge over the vinyl. This will prevent the paint from bleeding. Now that the Mod Podge is dry, I'll deposit two coats of Spice Pumpkin over the entire surface. And I'll dry brush some of the Spice Pumpkin onto the base, just lightly. And I dry brush the pumpkin edges as well. To give it dimension, I'm adding some loose strokes of warm sunset. It's a slightly deeper orange than the Spice Pumpkin. I add a wee bit to the base as well. Quick strokes of burnt sienna on the stem. A bit of burnt sienna on the screw heads. And then I'll sprinkle them with some cinnamon for a rusted finish.
I'll tap the cinnamon onto the screw heads with my fingers and then I'll just shake off the excess. I distress the edges by dry brushing with burnt umper. I add some to the base too, but only a wee bit. Now for one of my favorite parts, time to peel and reveal. I'm adding a drop shadow on the left side of my lettering with burnt umber. By outlining it, it really makes that blue pop because the blue is kind of pale compared to the orange but I do love this color combination I've been using it in my Thanksgiving decorations for the last several years and I always try to add at least one new piece each year I sand to add some age to the piece before assembling I spray with clear matte sealer. I'm using one inch corner brackets to attach the pumpkin to the base. I mark where my screws will go and I'll drill pilot holes. This time I am using the correct size drill bit. I paint the back of the pumpkin with mint teal just to tidy it up a bit. I fix the brackets to the base first because I need to put the candle on the base before I attach the pumpkin and this just makes it easier. And now, I just screw it together. Next, I'll wrap some Pipberry Garland around my candle. I probably really should have done this before I screwed this all together, but it worked out in the end. And finally, I'll fill the box with some leaves. I really like how simplistic and cozy this is. I like to decorate with a rustic edge for Thanksgiving. I think it really encapsulates the feeling of the holiday. I hope you like it too. Please be sure to check out the awesome playlist. Thanks again to Teresa and Corey for hosting. Links to their channels, as well as the playlist, and to Morgan's Light will be in the description box, as well as all pertinent links and info. If you haven't already, I would really love it if you would subscribe. Please like, share, and comment, and all that good stuff. Stay creative, my friends. Thanks for hanging with me. See you next time. Up all night with Monica.